Oh boy. Looks like we're driving this one today. I did not even see that. We've got so many spiders. It's like spider webs and crap around here because of all the trees around our house. Engulfed in freaking nasty webs. I hate that. Start this thing up this morning. You know, I don't know. I could put one in it. It's pretty crazy, huh? From the YouTube screen to your driveway, it's a lot different in person. It is. It's huge. It's big. Did you get this from me? What do you mean? Did I buy it for you? <laughs> <laughs> Depends. <laughs> Looks like this one fog lamp has water in it. Piece of junk. You could put a goldfish in that thing. Yeah, this is a big truck. This thing is huge. You look, I have the trailer hooked up to the nasty red because otherwise I would drag this thing. Well, you actually might because with the dualies on the rear, I'm sure it doesn't really help with uh, traction to the ground quite as much when it comes to pull-off scenario. Here's the truck, everybody. Introducing it for the first time on the channel. We did get some rollers of it going down the highway, just a couple. When we pulled up to Cody's house, the first thing I saw, I didn't film out of respect because last time I was there, we didn't film either, but he was just like, just make sure you don't like film the house or mailbox, you know, for the address and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, no problem. But anyways, this truck is huge, but when we pulled up, right in front of it was a square body Chevy with like way too many thousands of pounds loaded on top of the thing, smashed on the cab, rolled in the yard. It was so funny. If you saw his YouTube video, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know when it goes up, but it was just so funny. He was so, so funny talking about the truck and how he had to crawl out of it and all this crap. I was like, he literally could have died if that went a little bit more wrong than it already did. Like just the thought of that, it's scary. In terms of what we're gonna do with it, there's a few things in particular that we are gonna move on with the truck probably sooner than later. Those things are probably gonna be the rust. You can't see it with the doors closed, which is kind of nice if you're somebody that's wanting to push it off for a while, but the rust is pretty bad down here. It's just a rocker panel and cab corner, but it is pretty much, uh, Toasted. It's gone. Yeah, it's it's long gone. Then like Cody said, it's just a rocker panel in the cab corner. Um, once you cut all that out and put a new one in there, we have a really good body, guys, so that's not an issue for us. Whatever's underneath you, man, they did a good job. Yeah. So then we're also gonna do, this is all gonna get fixed, this whole section from this seal all the way down along with the rocker and cab corner. The whole top of the truck, let me show you on top. The whole top of the truck is fading pretty bad. Dad calls it heifer hood or heifer paint, you know. It's very common on Dodge trucks, it seems like, but the whole top of the truck's gonna get redone, the hood's gonna get redone, some of this stuff's gonna get touched up. But essentially, I mean, that's pretty much, pretty much it. The other rocker's really not that bad. There's a couple little holes, but it's not bad. It's mostly the driver's side. It's gonna be really, really sweet when it's done. Daddy just left those stock wheels. <laughs> oh, I was gonna dump them off here. <laughs> Stack them with the other 38. If you guys also notice, the tailgate's brand new. For everybody that was like, I can't believe you would destroy that truck. It's just a tailgate, dude. It's just a tailgate. It's just a tailgate. And the rear glass, when he smashed it out in the video, it's just glass. A couple hundred bucks, new glass. It's a monster. Like, if you were going to build a truck to haul your maximum loads, which is probably 20-ish thousand, give or take, this would be, like, the perfect truck for that application. Something interesting since you brought it up. This trailer I had custom made from Gator and if you look at it it's only got although it's tandem it's only got single axle or single wheels but if you look at the rims themselves and the wheels they're solid. You can pull it behind a single wheel axle but yet you could basically get about 20,000 pounds. The trailer itself is rated for 13.5. They just did that to match it with my King Ranch but yeah this thing can hold weight for just those having Single wheel. Did you want to mention to anybody that this would potentially be for sale? I'm considering selling it. I mean, here's the thing. He's thinking about getting a trailer that's more like my 20 footer just because most of the time this sits in the barn and it doesn't get used because he used to haul a bunch of hay back and forth to feed cows. But now that he has his own hay just down the road, he's not having to load as many as he can on for a three hour trip to haul hay back and forth. If you are highly interested, you could always message him on Instagram and you can talk numbers with him. Otherwise, it's a solid trailer. Yeah! We should probably hook it up to the gooseneck in the next video. Sounds like a good idea. I will say that 
know guys, this truck rides super, super nice. There's the first gen. Yeah, absolutely stoked. I just wanted to say another huge thank you to Cody and everybody over there that works with him and do what they do. When I saw that truck in their front yard completely destroyed, it was kind of funny. Like, part of me was like, you've got to be out of your freaking mind to do that. And then part of me thought, this is the exact reason why people love his videos so much. He does stuff that nobody else would even think about attempting to do. And like, people can comment whatever they want, like, oh, you're fanboying, you know, you bought his trucks, you're fanboying. First off, I bought the trucks for business purposes because it's good for my business. If I'm going to buy another truck anyways, why wouldn't you buy trucks? that may possibly have even more people keeping their eye on them. See what I'm saying? It just makes more sense. I really do just like admire what he does in a sense of he's a creator and it's really hard to naturally be an entertainer and that's exactly what he is. So excited about this. So the first thing we're probably gonna do with this is get it scheduled in to get the paint and body work done. I don't wanna give a for sure date but I bet you within, within four weeks this will have no more rust and the paint will be perfect on it. That's gonna be the goal. I would just love to see this truck rust free. I know that a lot of you guys would too, so that's what we're gonna to try to make happen. Some basic stuff we might do is swap out the fog lights with something that's a more like an LED pod maybe, maybe throw a light bar in the bumper right there. Put the wheel well liners back in. I might actually have to send his plate back. I don't know if he just forgot it on there or that's just a, an old plate and he doesn't care about it. But if you want that back, man, uh, I'll send that to you. He did put a new tailgate on the truck as well, which is something that I wanted to mention because a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, he's destroying the truck. It was just, it was a tailgate and he just bought a new tailgate for it, had it painted. Other than like these couple little nicks by the taillight, the roof fading, the hood fading a little bit and the rocker rust. I mean, that's all stuff that it sounds like a big deal, but my paint guy can have that stuff done in like two weeks time. So after I pick up the OBS, I'll probably just drop this off and get all that fixed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. A lot's going to happen with this truck in a short amount of time. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Don't forget that we are giving away an OBS Power Stroke, a 7.3 Power Stroke, and every $1 you spend is one entry to win that truck, plus $5,000 cash. Link is in the description below. It's just lnpgear.com. You can buy a t-shirt like this one or a hat like this one. That truck could be yours. Go check out the website if you want to see the photos of it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.